Hello, dear friends. Uh, this is this is uh, Ewell Humphreys, and I want to bring you a short message from the Word of God, and that is <clears throat> that uh, we need to rejoice in our religion. Rejoice in your religion. And we find some words about that in the Bible. So let us look at the Bible and see and ask God to bless it. I pray God will bless this little message, 10-minute message going out all over the world. Amen and amen again. God bless you as you listen. Now the Bible says in, in the first chapter of, uh, of Luke that Mary had been re had been told by the angel Gabriel that she is to bring forth and give birth to the Son of God, a miracle. She had never been with a man. And so she talked to her cousin Elizabeth and, and together they rejoiced in that fact. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. And this is a good word for us. She said, my soul doth magnify the Lord. <clears throat> our soul is our, everybody has a soul. It's our thinking, our minds. It's our will, making decisions. It's our emotions, our feelings. Everything comes out of the soul like that. But then from the fact that God has given us a new spirit, we are made up now of spirit, soul, and body. Three things. And so in the spirit is where the Holy Spirit dwells. And therefore, we are to glorify God in our spirit and rejoice in our spirit. Rejoice. So we need to learn to joy in the Lord Jesus and to, oh God, to learn to, to rejoice in, in your religion. Rejoice in your religion when your religion is based primarily upon your Redeemer. You're really rejoicing in your Redeemer. And so the, He's the one that makes the big difference. And so we need to recognize it's a good thing to be joyful as much as possible. We all have our troubles and our trials and our heartaches, but then we have so many blessings. And the good things are there. And even in the dark, the light's shining for you, dear Christian. And even when your heart's broken, the Lord is not gone. He's right there close to you. He's going through whatever you are. He's going through with you. And he's going to bring you through and lead you out to the place where you can find peace and the power of God be upon you. Look to the Lord and live. Seek him and you will find safety. Look to Jesus and you will find joy. The Bible says over in uh, 1 Thessalonians uh, that, it's, that it's proper to rejoice in the Lord. It says, Now, the uh, things of the Spirit are foolishness unto those who do not know the Lord. They're foolishness to them because they are spiritually discerned. They are spiritually discerned. And the people out there that are not Christians, they do not possess a spiritual spirit. And they're dead in there, and they need to be made alive and again a new heart and a new spirit given to them, and then they'll believe, but until then, they will look upon the things of Christianity as being foolishness, and they will never learn until they're spiritually taught, so the Holy Spirit has to convict them and reveal to them the things of God, and that's important. Now again, another scripture is found over in the book of uh, of uh, Second Philippians, and it says that that uh, we are to do all things in the sight of God and for the glory of God. And this is important that that we do these things to the glory of the Lord. And so we need to be joyful, joyful. It's important. Let me read a scripture to you from the book of Isaiah and the 61st chapter of Isaiah. And in verses 1 through 3, it says, The Lord God has, has given me the spirit of the Lord upon me, and he sent me forth to preach the gospel to the, to the poor. And he sent me to bind up the brokenhearted and to give peace and joy to those who are captives and open the prison door and set them free. 
And this is so important. Hallelujah. He said, I want you, uh, he, you will give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Hallelujah. For the Lord God has done it. And he saved you. And you're redeemed by his blood. And you're saved by his grace. And you belong to him. And you will never die. You will live forever. And best things are coming. All oh, the best things are ahead for you. Look up, Christian. God is with us. We're going to make it. All is well because God is there. Amen. Try to be as happy as you can. See, as Lewis said, it's the duty of every Christian to be as happy as possible. <laughs> be as happy as possible. Rather than walk around with a long face, and feel acting as if you've lost it all. Walk around if you can, smile even in the storm, and know that you've got it all. The Lord Jesus is still with you. Your name is written in heaven, and where it's written down, it's never erased. It's there forever, and you're safe. You're on your way home. Look up and be very grateful that the Lord is your God, and you love him, and you love the word, and you want to please him by living according to his word. So look to the Lord and live as best you can, always looking to him. Joy, joy. The best way to cheer yourself up is to cheer somebody else up. Remember that. The best way to get cheered up for yourself is to cheer somebody else up if you can. That's so important. That's so important. It's good to not remember the things that make you sad, but to remember the things that make you glad. Remember that. Try to, try to forget the things that make you sad and try to remember the things that make you glad and try to be happy as you possibly can. To live peaceably with all men as much as possible and to live a life like Mary that will magnify the Lord and glorify, glorify and rejoice in your spirit. Your soul shall magnify the Lord and your spirit shall rejoice in your Redeemer. Amen and amen. Do this and you'll live forever and you'll be at peace. May you know the joy of the Lord, dear friend. May you find that joy even when you're in, in trial and trouble. May you find the joy and be able to rejoice in your heart to the Lord. Even though you're broken, look up and you'll find blessings when you learn to rejoice in the Lord. Amen. All oh, praise God. All the way my Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? Oh, divine light to be my portion, and divine God love to be my guide. Oh, praise his name, he lives forever, and I walk with him. My joy will never, never sever, and I'll wave my God on him. All the way my Savior loves me. Oh, the fullness of his love. Oh, praise God, the divine comfort and divine immortal love. Oh, when my soul with clothes immortal shall wing its flight to realms above, this my song through endless ages, Jesus. Led me all the way, this my song through endless ages, Jesus led me all the way. Praise the Lord. If you need to pray a brief prayer with me, be sure you're going to heaven. Pray this prayer and just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. Find you a good church and worship God with his people. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, 
try your best, try your best to rejoice in your religion because you're rejoicing in your Redeemer. Amen? Praise the Lord. God loves you. God loves you. And you may even need to pray and say, Dear Lord, please forgive me for being so morbid and sad and downcast and downfallen. God, give me grace to look up, to cheer myself up because I want to cheer somebody else up, to believe and know that all is well, everything working for my good and for your glory. Lord, teach me. Teach me garments of salvation are mine, clothed in the garments of salvation. Lord, teach me to be joyful in the Lord. Amen and amen and amen. May God bless you, dear friend. God loves you and I love you. Praise the Lord. Amen.